What's up, YouTube? And to all your King Song Dotway enthusiasts and all Shermanators, this is V coming at you to do an initial review on InMotion V double E eleven. Now, before I get into doing my review, there's just a minor little maintenance that I have to contend with, and that is pumping up the shock chambers. Anyone that have dealt with suspension wheels and or, and or have seen videos of suspension wheels know the shocks or getting the proper PSI for the shocks is a bone of contention with just about everybody. And one thing that I can honestly say that I'm happy with with the emotion is they made it idiot proof and I am that idiot. Not only in the manual do they have a diagram with the suggested PSI for a rider's particular weight, but it's also on the foot pegs as well. Now I do understand with the V11, unlike other suspension wheels, there's two chambers that have to be uh, inflated uh, with a certain amount of PSI. The bottom chamber, which basically on the foot peg and in the manual, they have a recommended amount of PSI to uh, put in the bottom chamber according to your weight. And then there's the two top chambers, wherein it is recommended, no matter what the rider weight is, to uh, pump it up to 50 PSI. Now, I do understand the bottom chamber is relatively easy to pump, pump yeah, I, I get that, no problem. But what I do have an issue with, and I just don't understand why, there's always got to be a but in the program. You have to remove the two saddles on top of the V11. So there is some maintenance where you have to remove parts in order to get to the two chambers that are on top. Um, but outside of that, that is basically it in a nutshell. So without further ado or labeling the point, I'm going to take this puppy out here and pump it up and let's pray that I don't have to continuously try to tweak and figure out uh, the proper PSI for my weight. All right, so the recommended PSI for the top chamber is 50. So let's start the pumping. Okay. Oops, let out a little bit too much. Okay, that's spot on. Now that I've gotten the PSI out of the way, I want to give a shout out to Free Motion for providing me with the V11. Anyone interested on putting their paws on this wheel can reach out to Free Motion. Their contact information will be linked in the description box below. Without further ado, let's get into the crux of this video. For starters, the sleek and sexy design of the V11 is its endearing quality. Let's make no bones about it. The foam rubber of the saddle that encompasses the built-in adjustable suspension not only adds to its sexiness, but provides the absorption a rider needs for those pesky imperfections on or off roads. As the V11 bowls through potholes and the like, the saddle dampens the impact of the glider's knees and ankles. Trust me, I know. Gliding downstairs and on unsavory road conditions make for a smooth experience. And in keeping in step with the sleek and sexy design, the V11 comes in under 60 pounds making it one of those go-to wheels for whipping it around carving, one-legging it, Busting the move backwards. Jumping off walls. 
and on popping curves. With the right amount of bounce, one can even get leverage going under obstacles. Having come with no pads to speak of, I was somewhat skeptical of the V11's ability to perform as one would hope for any off-roading. And although truth be told, the wheel would benefit from a nice set of pads to get the true sense of off-roading experience, gliding without them doesn't inhibit a glider's ability to get some enjoyment out of off-roading. The large foot pedals in motion lords as having 20 times more friction does stabilize a glider's footing. Couple that with the proper grip stance and you have the makings of the next best thing to having pads. Now, I don't know whether this is noteworthy of mention or me just being anal retentive, but it has been alleged the V11 is the first electric unicycle to stand on its own. Yeah, about that. I hate to be that person, but that's fake news. My Nicola Plus have been self-standing for the past year, and without a stand I might add. And speaking of the built-in stand, just be mindful for whatever reason the stand is compromised and pops off, it won't be as quick to stand on its own without you having to fumble with it to ensure the wheel stays in place. By far the Scorpion trolley handle of the V11 is the best handle in my opinion of every EUC I've owned and operated. Its solid construction and quick release button makes for a secure handle that locks in place and provides ease of mind that if a low impact accident was to befall a glider, the handle would not be compromised by the impact, unlike other suspension wheels. However, because the quick motor disengagement feature is housed within the handle, its sensitivity is heightened beyond my comfort level. The slightest touch of the handle will disengage the wheel, which can be problematic when a glider is on the wheel for whatever reason steps off and goes to grab the wheel. The wheel goes limp. Kudos go out to InMotion for producing a wheel that reigns supreme with having a 7800 Lux headlight, which by the way is the brightest headlight of all EUCs. But if you're like me, I'm visual, so don't tell me, show me. Because in the grand scheme of things, technical language, Lux, Lumen, what the heck does that equate to? So without missing a step, I took the V11 out at night to see just what a 7800 Lux headlight would look like and I must say, unlike the allegation that was made on the V11 being the first EUC to stand on its own, the V11's coke bottle fish eyed lens headlight beats out the MSP, which up to this point was the brightest thing this way come. Speaking of this way come. After taking into account the grumbling from the EUC community on the motor specs and the speed of the V11, InMotion upgraded the V11's motor to 2200 watt and updated its firmware to allow for a top speed of 34 miles per hour. However, the comparatively restrictive dimension of the 1500 watt battery is the Achilles heel of the V11. Even with the 2200 watt motor, the V11's infinitesimal sized battery makes certain off-roading conditions more of a struggle than it is a challenge. In this clip, my boy Sam leans forward as he grabs hold of the seat of his V11 to give him that extra oomph to get him up this sandy hill as everyone casually blazes on. Although I did not confirm why he chose this method to scale the hill, another V11 owner confirmed in his review of the wheel its lackluster performance on climbing dirt hills and rocky off-road conditions. The 18 by 3 inch CST tire in motion has outfitted the V11 with and boasts of providing the glider with more stability and better grip. Hmm, the jury is still out on that because anything short of a dry substrate, this wheel performs as good as any other comparable 18 by 3 inch tire and that's not saying much. And although you can't tell from the vantage point of this video, the trail I was on was muddy causing me to slip slide, thereby abruptly ending my exploration. Now although this video is about the V11, I had just recently gone through the same trail with the Sherman and had no issues plowing through the mud. Just saying. In closing, with the advent of suspension wheels, some in this category are evolving into ultra-capable performance wheels that can cross over from devouring street potholes to conquering off-road trails with little to no ease. With its lightweight design and ergonomical key features, the InMotion V11 is a suspension wheel capable of both. 
The 85 millimeter of vertical suspension travel of the V11's shock absorbers allow for a smooth transition with less impact to the glider's extremities, no matter the substrate that's thrown its way. Is it a perfect suspension wheel? No. Does it have its limits? Yes. But neither its lack of perfection and its limited abilities detract from the fact the V11 is a suspension wheel to be reckoned with. And given the fact of what it's capable of doing, anyone looking into a suspension wheel would be remiss if they did not consider this wheel. <laughs> you guys know what time it is. Show your girl some love. Hit that like button, subscribe, comment, good, bad, or indifferent. So until next time, guys, deuces.